latest than uh, Gordon? Uh, I have not heard. I've been uh, on the corridor in film since he had his doctor's appointment this morning. So um, I'm guessing when I get back, I'll have a text that tells me what the next step is. But he's he's at the doctor's right now with one of our trainers, and uh, they'll decide whether or not to do surgery. What surgery possibly happen today? ASAP, I don't know what the doctor's schedule is. You, you had mentioned the other day that surgery might actually improve the timeline. I mean, what That's what I've been told. I'm not a doctor, I don't know. Yeah. So I've, but I've been told that, that that, you know, for whatever reason, that would stabilize and improve the timeline. Do you know what the type of break it is? Because of <laughs> Broke his hand. I really don't know. I'm sorry. Uh, he went through a shoot around, although we didn't do anything but walk through. Um, he did a little bit of pre shoot around work where they went live. Um, I have not heard if he's available or, or not tonight. Is this, is this with him strictly the judgment of the trainers at yes. this point? Yeah, and it has been the whole time. Because yeah. he keeps saying he would have wanted to play three games a game. Yeah. yeah, that's their job to make sure that a guy is 100% ready before they let him on the court. Um, so, you know, everybody's anxious to play, but I know he, he appreciates that too. How did Gordon seem to you for a guy who worked so hard to come back the first time? I mean, he was, he was frustrated. He was down, but, like, this isn't like last time. I mean, he's, he's going to miss, you know, he's going to miss some time, but... Um, whenever you miss less, you know, a little bit less time, it's a, uh, there could be a silver lining. You know, there's, there's a lot of games. We've got an opportunity now for other guys to step up as he's, as he's out. Um, and that will be a real challenge. I mean, we've got a tough schedule. And uh, that's been the case all along. But certainly when, when one of your guys goes down, it's just another opportunity for somebody else. Do you end up running more offense to him? We've run a lot through Kimba. Uh, I think that we'll continue to run a lot through Kimba. Um, some of the things that we've run for Gordon that we go to, especially late in the game, we'll run for Tatum, we'll run for you know Jalen in different scenarios. So, um, you know, we've already played out of eight games. We played three of them without Jalen already, and um, you know most of them without Canner. So you just kind of learn how to next guy needs to step up and be ready to play. Plan to bring. Romeo back. Romeo will be here this week, and then we'll make the assessment after that. If if he's not, um, if, you know, knock on wood that we don't have any other injury issues or anything else, then we just want to get him as much time as possible. So we will probably send him back at the end of the week. But that's totally dependent on what's going on with our team. Anyone responded to that Those were three close games. You know, I think the games kind of dictated that. Um, you know, we we were lucky to win the Milwaukee game, an unbelievable comeback, but um, the New York game could have gone either way, and then the Cleveland game, you know, they, they never they never let us pull away. So, um, you know, any time that you're playing closer games, your most experienced, best players are usually on the court. So I think that that was a function of those games as well as, you know, if we, if we have to play those guys longer, that's okay. We manage it in practice and we manage it down the road, you know, um, in, in other games. But, you know, the one thing about managing those minutes is we, we just practice a little less if they play a ton. What's that to you about playing right now? He's really good. Um, he's so physical. Uh, I think we have to, you have to, we have to adjust a little bit of what we do to be prepared to play against him, especially in his pick and rolls. He's outstanding. Um, and then, uh, you know, he, he's just able to keep guys on his hip. And when he gets you on his hip, he's a great scorer, but he's an amazing passer. Um, and so he really puts you in a bind. Is this team particularly well constructed the hand of a loss of a player like it, uh, Gordon? Well, I mean, I think that we've got a lot of versatile guys. I don't think, you know, I think each guy brings his own specialties to the table. We ask Gordon to do a lot. I think Gordon, the, the 
everybody when he plays the way he's been playing, everybody notices the stats, but it's the it's the simple reads and passes that we have to make up for um, when he's not here, and um, obviously the rebounding as well. So those are things that we have to uh, do by committee, and um, you know I think our guys will be up for the challenge. So we'll see.